Previously, we exported our character from Quixel Bridge. If you haven't watched the export process yet, please watch it before proceeding with this tutorial. If you've already set up Metapipe previously, feel free to skip this section. This is the file that we exported. Begin by clicking on the body mesh and noting its name, as we'll need it later in this tutorial. This body mesh represents our body type. For me, it is um underscore med underscore nrws. Next, navigate to the outliner and click on the top display button. Uncheck DAG objects. Then type RL4 in the search bar to locate RL4 embedded file. Click on it and navigate to the attribute editor. Inside, locate RL4 node. Look for the DNA file path and copy it. This is the DNA that we will use on our custom characters. The initial mesh isn't crucial and one DNA file enough for all shapes. Now let's configure our preferences in Metapipe. Open a new empty scene and run Metapipe. Four text fields will appear. The default paths for DNA calibration and Metapipe files usually don't need changing unless necessary. Paste the DNA path we copied earlier into the DNA path text field. If your DNA path ends with underscore rl.dna, remove the underscore rl part. Then, enter our body type into the MetaHuman body type field. Click Save to finalize the process. And that's it! Good luck with your MetaHumans, and bye.